I'm kind of nervous. I made a little checklist of things that I want to talk about. Like, should I read off? Should I just talk? Okay, whatever. Hey guys, um, welcome to me talking to you live from my living room in Brooklyn. You obviously want to learn how to do the splits and I'm gonna help you. Whether you are a beginner, whether you're intermediate, whether you're advanced, these two stretches have single-handedly changed the game for me. Um, I wanna start by saying I was not somebody who was super flexible at all. When I was really warm, I could kind of pop into a right split, kind of, and then my left split inches off the ground, my middle split, miles from the ground. So um, today we're gonna to be focusing on your front splits, your right and your left, um, and the two stretches that have changed the game. We're gonna hop right into it. Actually, okay, I'm sorry, two things before we hop into it. The first thing is you need to breathe and chill. Hear me out for a second. In order for you to actually get good at the splits, you need to be able to sit in them for you know long periods of time. So if you're only popping into it for five seconds and then hopping out right away, then you know, you're know you not gonna get good. Some of the things that have worked for me is positive self-talk. So when I'm in the splits and I'm, you know the first thought that comes into your head is like, ow, fuck, this hurts. But the second thought should be you encouraging yourself like, you're so strong. Yes, you're so capable. Look at you go, bitch. All of those things, it actually helps. There's a real reason why yoga instructors talk to you in this calm, soothing, voice you know what I mean it'd be weird if they were screaming at you like personal trainers like yeah get into the split hold the split you know so we're gonna talk to ourselves nicely talk calm and just breathe number two if you don't have a set of yoga blocks get some if you're serious about trying to do the splits and if you really want to get deeper in your flexibility as a whole these props will save your life I'm telling you right now it allows you to not only modify but as you get more flexible advance your splits so you could eventually practice over splits and doing like all the other cool stuff so rule number one breathe chill number two get some blocks all right Let's take it to the mat. Stretch number one is a low lunge. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, you could use books, you could use water bottles, you could use anything, but like we said, get you some blocks. So the points that we really want to focus on here is that front leg is at a 90 degree angle. Nice 90 degree angle. The weight is in the heel of my foot, right? Like I'm not in the ball of my foot. Heel is down, okay? I don't wanna fall into my low back flexibility either. Like I wanna think I'm drawing my shoulders back above my hips and I'm also tucking my tailbone, drawing my belly in away from this front thigh, okay? And then I have my hands here because if I didn't have my blocks, like it's a lot of pressure on my hip flexor, right? If I have my blocks, I allow my hands to kind of take some pressure off that hip flexor which is why having blocks is really good, okay? So we've got shoulders back, belly in, 90 degree angle, and we're just breathing. Everybody's having a good time. Big inhales and big exhales. So I'll stay here for a few breaths, right? And we'll just kind of like hang out. And then from here, what I like to do is I like to maybe go into a low lizard pose. This is really tough for you. You can actually bring your blocks, right? Right, there we got the modification. We're drawing our hips down the whole time. And if this is really easy for you, you could actually lose the blocks and you could take it all the way down to your forearms, okay? And then from here, I kind of just like to wiggle right and left for maybe about like five to 10. And then get a little crazy. I'll tuck my back toe. I'll come up and then I'll just pulse down, right? And you could do this at any level, right? Right, if you have your blocks, uh, cool. And then I'll just like pulse for 10, yeah? And then, um, you know, you wanna do the other side because we wanna be even, but that is it. First one, low lunge, down, done. So the second stretch that has changed the game for me is a hamstring stretch. This one used to really suck, and now I kinda like it. So um, if you're advanced, you could go ahead, you could prop a block under that heel. If your hamstrings are really, really tight, maybe you don't even wanna have this block. Maybe you just wanna be here. But we have our blocks at our side, right? Starting off, 
alignment, hip and knee in direct alignment, I'm just gonna go ahead and prop my foot forward, okay? I wanna make sure my hips are square here though, right? I'll know if I'm not square because, you know, if this back foot isn't in direct alignment with my hip. So we want our feet in direct alignment with our hips. Again, if you're advanced, you could go ahead and prop a block under that heel. And then from here, you know, you could just use these blocks to kind of inch your way forward. So the big things here is that if you're using blocks, you want flat hands to the blocks. You wanna think arching from that tailbone. And then, you know, just like breathing, right? We're all having a good time. We want a nice flat back, drawing the belly in away from that front thigh, okay? If this is really easy for you, you could take your blocks down all the way all the way. If this is even easy for you, you could lose the blocks. You could just be here, okay? Then from here, what I like to do is windshield wiper, right and left, like my toes go right, my hips go left, toes go left, hips go right, and I'm just breathing, chilling, doing the thing, you know? And then from here, big inhale, create space, and then I exhale, walk my hands forward, right? With every inhale, we create space in our body, and then with every exhale, we allow ourselves to move into that space. Boom. So that's the second stretch. And that was it, just as promised. Two stretches, super easy. Obviously you wanna do them on both sides, your right and your left. Um, if you find that you're tighter on one side, I would say practice that side first so you can kind of get through that mental block. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop it down below if you like the video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Hope this was helpful, so bye for now.